Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create a admin dashboard easily in Laravel using a package called Filament. So this package will automatically create your model, your table and you'll be able to edit.update those data. So I'll show you everything step by step how you can make an admin dashboard in Laravel from the very beginning. So first of all, we'll just create a fresh Laravel project then we'll install Filament in our Laravel project. So first of all, let me just go to my folder over here and I'll create a project over here. So let's say over here CMD. Let me just zoom in and here I'm going to say Laravel new. Let's say our project name will be Lara Filament. Let's press enter. So it will create a Laravel project. So right now I'll just fast forward the video. So here you can see our project creation is complete and here is the project folder you can see. So let's just go to the project directory. Let's say over here CD Lara filament let's press enter so currently we're in the project directory let's just run the project php artisan serve so i did a spelling mistake let's show over here php artisan serve let me just copy this and i'll go to my browser let me just close this and i'm going to show over this and here you can see this is freshly created laravel project so first of all, before we uh, install the filament package, we need to migrate all the table in the database. So right now, let me just go to project directory again and let's just run the command over here. Uh, CMD, we are going to say over here, php artisan migrate. Let's press enter. So it will ask, would you like to create a database? I'm going to say over here, yes. So you can see a database is created database and table is created so right now let me just go to the xamp over here so right now if i just go down here you can see we have the database table over here lara filament over here and user table so right now what we are going to do is that we'll go to the filament php.com installation page so here currently i'm in the installation page and i'll give this link in the description so just check it out. So over here you can see installation. So in order to install filament, we need to write this command in our command prompt, which is composer require filament slash filament 2.0. So let me just copy this and we'll just directly go to our command prompt over here. And let's paste it over here and we'll press enter. So this will install filament in our Laravel project. So here you can see the package is installed. So after installing the package, you can uh, update some code in the composer.json but it's not necessary right now so uh, we'll just directly come to this command psv addition make filament user so this command will let us create a user in the user table so i'll just copy this command psv addition make filament user and i'm going to paste it in the command prompt if you now press enter it will ask for a name let's say the name will be admin let's press enter then the email address will be admin at the rate of gmail.com and let's also give a password password will be one two three four five six seven eight then press enter so the user is created so would you like to show some love for now less than no so right now if we just refresh our uh, user table over here you can see user table here you can see we have a user called admin at the rate of gmail.com and with the password so right now in order to go to the filament dashboard we need to give over here slash admin press enter and then it will take us to the filament login page as you can see so here i'm going to say admin at that of gmail.com and i'll give the password over here then now if i now click sign in it will take us to the filament dashboard so here you can see currently we're in the filament dashboard and uh, there is nothing over here as you can see so right now in order to see that all the table over here and also in order to make the update or delete for the specific table data we need to just write a command and a few line of code so for it uh, let's go to the installation page and over here here you can see building resources we we'll just directly go to the building resources and if we now go down here you can see that uh, creating a resource to create resource obviously we first need to have a model and then for that model we need to write a command over here like this 
So for now, we only have user table over here. So let me just uh, show you for the user table first. So right now, I'm just going to copy this command, which is PSU addition make filament resource customer. So each of customer will say user. So PSU addition make filament resource, it will be user and it will be uh, capital because we are writing this from the model. So let's press enter. And here you can see successfully created user resources. So right now, if we just go back to our code over here, you can see Lara filament. And if you go to the app, then inside the app here, you can see a folder called filament. And if I now click filament resource and in the resource, you can see user resource and user resource.php. So this is the important one user resource.php. So uh, since we run this command, it's going to make filament resource user. So right now, if we just refresh here, you can see a user option over here. If I now click user, here you can see it is showing us the user data over here, but there is no data basically. So in order to show the user data, we need to make some changes over here in the user resource.php. So over here, you can see a return table column over here. So in order to show the data, we need to update this column. So how we can update this in order to update this, you can just check out the getting started resource over here. If we just go down, uh, let me just go a little bit more down. And here you can see uh, return table columns. So here you can see table column name and email. So I'll just copy this, then paste over here in the column option. Here you can see public static function table in the column, we need to paste this. So in the user table, we have name and email. So right now, if we just save this, then if we just refresh right now over here, here you can see, we can see the user over here. So right now, what I'm going to do is that uh, I'm just going to create a fresh table called customer and I'm going to show you everything, how we can add, delete, edit, update, everything, okay? So right now, let me just create a model over here. We are going to say here PHP artisan make model. It will be customer. And we also create the migration at the same time. Press enter. And here you can see model is created. So right now, let's go back to our code. And we'll just try to go to the database, then migration. And inside migration, we have a customer table. So in this customer table, we'll have name, email, and image field. So here I'm going to say, name okay let's just make it null level to just copy this name then it will be email and then image so we'll say email and this will be image so let's set this and one more thing we must do and that is we need to go to the models and inside model we can see customer.php so here we need to must add the protected fillable over here. So let me just copy this from the user.php. So here you can see protected fillable. I'll just copy this and paste it over here in the customer. So it will be name, email, and image. Okay, so if you do not add this protected fillable uh, over here, then you won't be able to upload or add the data. Okay, so we can just close this now and this as well. So right now we'll just write the command PHP artisan migrate so data is migrated so right now if we just uh, refresh over here here you can see we have customer table over here and there is nothing in the customer table so right now let's just insert a random data over here from here let's say customer one then customer one at the end of gmail.com let's keep the image field empty then click go so right now in the customer table we have only on data over here so right now if we just refresh over here obviously we won't see any customer option over here so in order to see the customer option we need to run this command is addition make filament resource customer so we'll just paste it over here press enter so right now if we now refresh there you can see you have the customer option if we now click customer just like user it is empty right now so right now uh, let me just copy this from the user resource so uh, we'll just go to the app app then filament and inside filament here you can see customer resource.php 
so let me just go down and here you can see table columns so here we are going to say or we are going to paste this whatever we just copy it from here in order to show that user data so we just paste the same thing over here so right now if we now refresh there you can see you can see the customer data so right now can we add any customer new customer here you can see new customer button over here if we now click over here I guess there is no input field in order to add a customer so we need to have some input field so that we can add some customer so let's just click cancel over here so in order to add the input field we need to go to the same base customer resource.php and here you can see public static function form return function schema so inside this we need to mention the input field so here uh, let me just go to the getting started phenomen.com and right now we'll just go down and here you can see a uh, form component here you can see this hash form so from here uh, you can see name required and email is required so we are going to copy this form slash component here you can see text input make name required so we are just going to copy this and we'll paste it over here so here you can see text input it will let us uh, take the input for name and this will uh, let us take input for the email and type will be email so right now if we save then right now if we just refresh over here and let's go to new customer of this option and here you can see we have to field over here so right now we'll be able to add any data from here if we now give the name and email and if we click create here you can see notification over here created so right now let's go to the customer table and there you can see name and email over here so right now we have the edit option can we edit it the thing is yes uh, once you just do the this part over here create customer it will automatically add the field for the edit option as well so right now let me just show you can we edit anything uh, let's change the customer one form customer 100 a thousand and customer thousand right now if you click save changes here you can see saved so let's go back and he over here you can see name and email so right now we do not have any delete option over here so in order to add the delete option uh, that is super simple here if we just go to the customer resource.php and then if we just go down uh, over here in the static function table over here you can see actions here you can see edit action so we can just add one more action and that is delete action so instead of edit we are going to show here delete if we now set this then refresh here and here you can see the delete button if i now click delete it will ask us confirmation are you sure to delete this if i click confirm it will delete the data here you can see and now uh, let me just show you the image option how we can add image or update image so in order to add the image what you need to do is that uh, here you can see that form schema in this schema we are going to add the image field so let me just copy this paste it over here so instead of text input we are going to show over here file upload file upload and instead of email we are going to show over here image and let's just remove the email option so if this will be required so one more thing that you need to do is that when you are using the file upload you need to add one more line so let me just go over here filament.com and here we have the search option you can search anything from here file upload let's say this on field and over here you can see when you are using the file upload you need to add this at the top use filament slash form slash component slash file upload so i'll just copy this and i'm going to paste it over here at the top okay let's save this and let's just refresh over here and here you can see we have a image upload option over here so let's just give a name over here let's say john john at the rate of gmail.com and let's just add an image over here let's just choose a random image from here and it will show us the image then here you can see create option we'll just click create and there you go so right now image is uploaded obviously here you can see the email name and if we now refresh our 
table here you can see the image field or image data over here but right now if you go to the customer table uh, there you can see there is no image field so we need to add the image field so for it uh, we just need to go to the table column option and here it will just copy this and paste over here and here we are going to say stop text we are going to say over here image column and it will be image so right now if we set this then if we now refresh over here we will not see the image over here properly here you can see we have a broken image over here the thing is we uh, all the data we upload in the filament is stored in the storage folder over here you can see in the storage folder all the images will be stored okay let me just show you in the storage then app and here you can see public folder and here you can see the image that we just uploaded so all the images will be uploaded in the storage folder so what we need to do is that we need to connect this storage folder with our public folder so in order to do that we need to write a command over here and we need to say over here php artisan storage clone link so this will add a link with our storage and public folder so let's just press enter and right now if we just go to the public folder here you can see a storage folder connection over here so right now if we refresh over here we still not see the image even though the connection is made the thing is uh, here you can see ip address over here so whatever we have over here we need to have the same thing in the dot env so if we now go to the dot env here you can see localhost so instead of localhost we are going to show over here this and we also need to remove this slash form here okay like this so right now let's save this and right now if we refresh over here we can see the image over here so you can increase the image length and you can even make the image round or any height and any width so you can just see the uh, documentation to do that and there is a lot more feature over here like you can even add filter option over here at the top of your table in order to search a specific data so here uh, you can see that in the customer resource we have the filter option over here so you can just uh, search it in the documentation uh, how we can add filter in the table you can do everything over here you can change the design of your admin dashboard if you want you just need to check out the documentation place over here. Here you can see form builder, table builder, notification, admin panel, everything you will find in the documentation. And one more thing uh, that is, and one more thing I would like to mention is that if you are using the user table for storing other user data, then you need to uh, make sure you have done the authentication part. So here if you go to the users option over here and click the authentication access to admin panel, you can just follow the process from here and one more thing that you can do is that you can use middleware for login what i mean is that you can have like user type over here user type will be admin or user and you can verify the user by using middleware so so if you want to know how to add middleware in your laravel project then you can check out the video on the screen so i hope you like this tutorial if you have any question you can always let me know in the comment section and if you want to like suggest me a different kind of video to make, you can do that as well. Make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.